Hello, this is Frank with Frank's Beautiful Rocks and Minerals. To see my collection of beautiful rocks and minerals, which I have prospected from across the United States and other countries, type in on YouTube, Rock and Mineral Identification, followed by my name, Frank Riser, space, capital M period, capital S period, for Master of Science. I encourage you to watch my videos on geology and rock and mineral prospecting and get out there in the field yourself and prospect for those beautiful rocks and minerals. You can support my channel so that I may buy more materials to do fascinating science demonstrations with on Patreon. On Patreon, simply type in my name, Frank Riser and period S period, and I appreciate your financial support. The more income that I receive from Patreon, the more frequently I can make science videos. I'm already over budget right now. Today's demonstration is on electronics, a branch of physics. We're going to be looking at a toy that came out in the late 1970s and was given to me by my mother. This toy is an audio frequency generator with different knobs and controls where you can set the frequency to different frequencies and I want you to notice in the video that at higher frequencies the amplitude remains the same just as it does at lower frequencies but it sounds at higher frequencies more quiet but this is false it is our hearing we are not sensitive at higher frequencies than we are at lower frequencies so although the toy sounds loud at lower frequencies when it's at higher frequencies or a higher tone it sounds softer but the toy is putting out the same amplitude it is the fact that our hearing is not as sensitive at the higher frequencies. You can support my channel on Patreon and I appreciate your financial support. And let's get to the science video. This is the toy. It is an audio frequency generator with a whole bunch of potentiometers which you can set the audio frequency output. We'll be playing with this while we look at the amplitude and frequency on my oscilloscope. So let's get to the demonstration. First of all, we can turn on the toy. Do you notice how at higher frequencies it sounds softer than at lower frequencies? But like I said, again, it's putting out a constant amplitude as we shall see at all frequencies. It is the fact that our hearing is just not as sensitive at higher frequencies than it is at lower frequencies. There's multiple knobs and buttons and you can adjust the sound and frequency of the device, but not the amplitude.
this toy never was repaired. Some of the potentiometers are a little corroded, which is easily rectified by cleaning it with a chemical such as deoxid, which is an anti-corrosive chemical. It removes corrosion. Otherwise, this toy is just as good as it was when it was bought back in the late 1970s. Let's take a look at its frequency and amplitude on the oscilloscope and again I want you to notice how the amplitude stays the same even though it's at different frequencies and here's the oscilloscope. And I can change the settings so we can look at different frequencies on the oscilloscope. But again, remember, as you'll see on the oscilloscope, the amplitude remains the same. I can adjust the frequency on the oscilloscope for detection. Here's a good setting. We can see the modulation. That setting sounds like a machine gun. I'm changing the controls. Let's adjust the time division on the oscilloscope. Thank <laughs> you.
now here's the setting where it sounds softer or less loud, but I can assure you when we look at the oscilloscope, the amplitude remains the same. It's the fact, like I said, that our human hearing is less sensitive at around the higher frequencies of, 10, of 20 kilohertz. That proves that you just can't trust your ears. And it's fun just playing around with this toy. We'll adjust the frequency times per division on the oscilloscope. Let's change the resolution and see what we can see. The amplitude does not change. It's simply our human hearing. It's simply our human hearing that's less sensitive around 20 kilohertz. What a neat little toy from the 1970s. They don't sell anything like this anymore, and I don't know why. An audio frequency generator. It is a function generator. It has a Darlington pair of transistors, bipolar transistors, for amplification. The Darlington pair configuration produces amplification that has a beta of far greater than 200. I encourage you to look up transistors and beta on the internet and leave in the comments below for me what it means. And I'll tell you if you're right on track or if you're a little varied on this definition. But as a toy, this toy is really fun and interesting to play with but it's more appreciate appreciated by adults who know electronics than it is by children who probably become bored with it shortly after they use it under the Christmas tree as a gift but I love it I think it's fascinating and so I encourage you to get out there into the field of the woods, your local park, go to science museums, go, go to a planetarium and watch a nice video or display on the planets and astronomy. Interest yourself in science. I love science. I currently own a TV and electronics repair shop but I earn very little money. And so that's why I appreciate your support on Patreon. I'm looking for a job in electronics right now as an electronics technician. It would be great if you could contact me at my email if you have any leads for me. I live in northern New Jersey. My email is my name, Frank Reiser, Rocks, Minerals, at gmail.com 
And this is Frank with Frank's Beautiful Rocks and Minerals, always reminding you to keep looking down.